Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a very basic animation with Automatic 11.11. Find a video from Pexels or Freepix. Extract frames from the video using FFmpeg. Resize each of the frames using Windows Power Toys. And then generate a seed for the image. And then we'll use the batch functionality of Automatic 11.11 to animate each of the frames. Once we have all the frames, we'll stitch them back together with FF, FFmpeg. Alright, so go ahead and head over to Pexels. I have chosen this woman boxing from Anna Schwetz, and you can choose the same image. So go ahead, download that. Also head over to FFmpeg and download this to your computer and install it. Head over to Windows Windows Power Toys, download this and install it. As always, all the links will be in the description below. Also, go ahead and download the Anyverse checkpoint from Civit AI. Once you have all of those installed, open up your terminal and run this command at the terminal. The I switch is the video as the input, the R is 16 frames, and this setting says we want to upscale by 2, and this will be the output of that command. Once you've run that command, you can see the listed files over here as the output. And these are each of the frames from the video. Go ahead, select all the frames right click resize pictures and this will bring up the windows power tools image resizer set the size to 1080 by 1920 and go ahead and resize i have already resized these images for this video once you have all of those images resized go over to your automatic 11.11 and drag in the first picture. Now with this picture we need to provide a prompt. We could use interrogate deep plural. This will give us a fairly good prompt for this image. Some things it's added that are not in the picture like food, but that's okay. I'm going to provide my own prompt, which is very similar to this one. Uh, go ahead and provide your negative prompt. Choose the checkpoint any of us, the one we just downloaded. Go down here, set the sampling method to Euler A, sampling steps to 25. Set the width to 560 and the height to 1024. This is lower than the image we've resized. This is because the checkpoint is a 1.5 model and this works better for those models. Set the CFG scale to 10 so that the prompts can influence the image more. Set the denoising strength to 0.2 so the resulting image looks like this image as the reference. So with these settings dialed in Click Generate, and there you have a really good starting image, which we will call the seed image, and it is in the same pose as the reference image. So with the seed image, take the seed, put the seed over here, and then you can go ahead and start to batch the uh, click on batch as the input directory with the frames that you had outputted for the video as the input and in the output directory put the output where you would like the new generated frames uh, for each one of the input frames so go ahead and generate that i've already done this so what we have here in this example we have the final 
output output frames if I open the frames if we open up some of the frames and we scroll through them you'll see that the animation looks really good which is similar to the frames from the input video okay so now what you can do is go back to your terminal run this command and it'll stitch each of those frames together that's all for today and i hope you enjoyed it if you want to learn more about stable diffusion and automatic 1111 check out the links below in the description as always please support this channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button below